Everybody knows Goldons and Labradors, but what about other retriever? The Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever. In this video I will tell you everything you need to know about this amazing breed. Hi, it's Raim from Royka Dog. Let's start with brief history of Duck Tola. Yes, Duck Tola is short version or short name of Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever. They were fully developed in the early of 20th century. It is believed that the crossing or breeding involved Goldens, Labradors, Chesapeake Bay and flat-coated retrievers. And Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever was fully recognized by Canadian Kennel Club in the 1950s. Thanks to their orange coat, Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retrievers look a little bit like foxes. And that is why there were some rumors back in the days, maybe some people still believe it, that they were crossed with foxes. But that is impossible, genetically impossible to, to cross two different animals like that. So it's complete rumor. But speaking of their coat, it is the most important and unique characteristics of their appearance. It's striking and beautiful and comes in various shades of red or orange. They are double coated dogs. They have dense undercoat and medium length outer coat. Interesting fact about their coat is that it's water repellent. So they stay dry and warm when they are working. This is the smallest retriever of all, with height around 50 centimeters and weight between 17 to 23 kilograms. They are in the similar size as Border Collie or Australian Shepherd. Some people are saying that they have sad expression in their face. It might be true when they are calm or relaxed, but when they get excited, you will see little devils in their eyes. Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever is amazing for apartment living. They can adapt to it quite easily, but they are high energy dogs. They might be the smallest of all retrievers, but they have the typical high exercise needs, which is common to all retrievers. This is why the daily long walks are a must, but they will prefer jogging or swimming. They really love swimming and this is a very playful dog, so you might play fetch with him or other games like that. These dogs are friendly towards almost everyone, especially when they are well socialized. They have no problem with other dogs or strangers. And of course, they are super affectionate towards all members of your family, including smaller kids. This is actually a very good dog for families with children. Duck Tolas are very intelligent, combine that with their friendliness and eager to please personality and you have pretty trainable dog. The only problem with their training might be that they are easily distracted and easily bored. They sometimes are also very strong willed and independent dogs and dogs like that will test the boundaries, what they can and what they cannot do. If you are lucky enough to have dogs with these personality traits, you will have to be very consistent and strong leader. Another annoying thing might be their mouthiness. They are retrievers, so they were bred to put things into their mouth and bring it to you. That is why, especially when they are puppies, they will be chewing and nipping on everything and everyone. But they are pretty gentle, but okay, it will hurt maybe sometimes, but they are very gentle dogs and they will grow out of this stage pretty quickly. The grooming needs are not high. Weekly brushing is enough to keep their coat in great shape. Well, these are the most important facts about Duck Tolo. So if you are an active person who is looking for intelligent, friendly and energetic dog, which is also pretty independent, this might be the best choice for you. Tell me in comments what is your experience with Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing and turning the notifications on. You can also check our Facebook and Instagram. Links are in description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.